Hello and welcome to ChiefTutor.com training videos and Chief Architect. In this video we'll be discussing how to get the quantity amounts for say tiling a shower. Uh, it can be rather difficult when you're doing and dealing with walls but for instance if you were to use the Chief say CAD tools all these things are already built into the CAD tools. Whenever you make a complete circle or square in CAD it highlights it in gray of course and you can open up its specifications go right to the polyline tab and figure out that its perimeter is 282 inches here it says it's 33.4 square feet at zero cubic feet obviously because it's only two-dimensional so it's real quick and easy to figure out those details but what if you want a material list for the shower and you build your own shower walls well let's do that what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my orthographic views I'm gonna select my cross-section elevation and I'm just gonna elevate that wall so I can see it using my polyline tools I'm gonna to grab one and drag it say about to here I'll drag another one say a little further we'll say out to here and drag this one about the same as that I'll just go straight down to there and here I have three different uh, sections of one wall. So to show you what I mean is uh, let's go to this orthographic full overview and we can see I've got three parts to this. And it looks like I'm trying to select that other one hit tab. There it is. Okay. So what I'm going to do, the reason why I want to do three is so we can separate out the tile. Let's go ahead and spray it with some tile. And here I've navigated to my Dell tile uh, selection, natural stone and I'm gonna grab this one here Baja cream one by one I'm gonna apply it to the top and the bottom and I'm gonna go back and grab another say this guy here and apply him in the middle like so and so let's take a look at this in 3d and we'll go to the higher color camera so we can see the detail and there it is now if we knew, do need to do some adjusting in the tile we can do so like for instance I could say stretch to fit goes across makes it all complete or I could just put it in here to what I want it to be maybe 60 by 6 or something you know we can adjust it make it whatever it needs I'm just gonna say stretch to fit for giggles so we can see that there's definitely two different tiles now we need this proper square footage for this so we can actually build it and buy it okay so let's do that let's go to the two-dimensional plan Let's go to tools and let's say on the materials list let's calculate from all floors and I'm going to stretch this little data sheet that it's created for us out here so we can kind of see what's going on and here's our Dell tile one by one by one one inch by one inch by one inch and there's over 5,600 of these bad boys now if I were to type it in because I know it's a dollar twenty a square foot let's say it would give me this ridiculous price and that's because it's only doing again one inch by one inch so we have to explain to chief that we want this material to calculate per square feet so let's do that and click no here because we don't need that I'm gonna go into my 3d view here using my rainbow tool I'm gonna select the tile where I can manipulate again and let's go to the general tab and we want to make these pieces of 12 inch by 12 inch we'll notice that the square comes up quite a bit bigger because now it's going to calculate 12 inches by 12 inches well we don't want to see that obviously in the 3d we want to see it properly and it renders still in low color which is or high color correctly but in the pattern it's too big so if I wanted to actually change the pattern I can go grab another say chief tile um, and then let's just run through these real quick say this one right here and set it to 0 0.05 and click OK now it's set nice and small like I like it but in the general tab it's gonna calculate 12 inches by 12 inches which is perfect okay and it did apply it automatically to all the effects of where we use that exact color tile now what I want to do is calculate floors again so I go to tools material list calculate all form floors let's stretch it out again and try to get us some detailed information Dell tile solid cream one by one by 50 square foot count is 40 which is good and then the unit price again could be applied dollar twenty per square foot I'm gonna spend forty eight dollars getting that material across the board 
So very easily, after you've drawn in your shower and applied your texture, you can manipulate the texture to read the correct square footage. So when calculating it out per room and per floor, that it has the exact amount you need. And remember, at any time, you can also double click the actual polyline solid that you've created and just double check yourself. Here's 12.8 square feet. Go down here and I've got 26.5 square feet for a grand total <coughs> excuse me of 40 square feet okay and that's been messing with quantities of square footages using chief architect tiling system